falling asleep being tacked up. She falls asleep when she's tacked up. She seems very calm and comfortable, but once I've got her saddle and bridle on and I'm getting myself organised, she starts to fall asleep. Her eyes close, her head drops and her knees start to buckle. It can go on for several minutes. Then she seems to snap awake again. There's no problems once I lead her out the stable, get on or when we're out riding. Do you know what's going on? This owner, along with her trainer, had done extremely well in figuring out that the sleepiness happened after she was girthed up and so seemed to be related to the girth. She has solved the problem by doing the girth up more gradually and by leaving the mare loose while she's tacked up. This means she moves around the stable a bit more during the tacking up process. The moving around is likely to be key to making sure the mare doesn't fall asleep. The first time I came across this many years ago was with a broodmare who fell asleep when she was mounted by the stallion. The owners decided not to breed from her anymore. I asked around, looked it up and discovered that it's what's called vasovagal syncope. It's also known as reflex or neural syncope. Basically, the body goes into extreme relaxation. In humans, this is known as fainting. In horses, the response is caused by something triggering the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the opposite system to the sympathetic fight or flight response. The triggers I've come across include grooming, putting the saddle on and doing the girth up. Here's a more technical description that I've taken from the internet. Neural syncope is uncommon in horses and is due to an abnormally triggered neural reflex causing withdrawal of sympathetic tone and increased parasympathetic tone. The resulting bradycardia and or peripheral vasodilation lead to hypotension and impaired cerebral perfusion. Sudden head elevation or placement of equipment on the horse, such as a saddle, may be a cause of the neural syncope. Michelle Abraham Linton. This is not a common issue, but it can be worrying if you see it and don't know what it is. In my experience, the condition does not cause any lasting problems and can be managed once the triggers are known. I'm hoping this explanation will help educate and calm any anxiety around the subject. I'm Sue Palmer and my mission is to inspire compassion through sharing knowledge, experience and understanding. If you have a question you'd like answered, please get in touch. I'm an ACPAT and RAMP registered chartered physiotherapist, a British Horse Society Stage 3 coach in complete horsemanship and an intelligent horsemanship recommended trainer. If you'd like to hear more from me, you can find The Horse Physio on Facebook and YouTube. Visit www.thehorsephysio.co.uk and check out my books, Understanding Horse Performance, Brain Pain or Training and Horse Massage for Horse Owners. Thanks for listening.